Today's video is sponsored by Rich Reviews. Rich Reviews now provides services to support our viewers in purchasing their own dream supercar. Our services currently include pre-purchase inspection, support calls and collection video to document you collecting your own dream supercar. More information in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video guys. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews and today you join us at the Ferrari Owners Day at Sewell Aerodrome. who are unaware, Ferrari Owners Day event is actually for members of the Ferrari Owners Club. Um, so it's only Ferrari Owners Club members that are actually here today and their cars are at various positions um, parked throughout the area. You've got certain parking areas specifically for Ferraris that aren't, in, that aren't incorporated into the Show and Shine event, say for example, um, but we're actually here with the Maguire Show and Shine event as we were last year. Now we're just going to take you around a few of the cars that are here, specifically some of the special cars. So first and foremost, we can't skip off this, this very special new release from Ferrari. This is the Ferrari 296 GTB with the Fiorano pack. Now, the Fiorano pack is denoted by the fact it's got this specific colouring on the front with this stripe. Me personally, I actually don't like this colouring. I prefer it in the standard Imola. I think it's the Imola paint job. So this car actually isn't, launch, isn't in standard launch spec. It's actually in Rosso Corsa. This isn't with the Imola paint job. But the Imola paint is a, is a lot more special. And I actually know a friend um, who's specking his GTB at the moment and he's specking it with the Imola paint, which is um, very deep. And it's like, a, it's like the Giallo Triple O Strato yellow paint that you get, the, the triple layer paint that you get for Ferraris. It's got that depth to it and it's, it's really vibrant, really, um, really luscious paint. But if we look at the 296 GTB here, you see it actually looks like it's a GTS. It actually looks like it's got um, a removable panel on the roof, but it isn't removable. This is the GTB. They are releasing a spider version in the future. So looking at the interior of the car now, we've seen it's got the center section is in blue. I don't know what this color is called, but it's like an ice light blue. A lot of carbon fiber rounds as you'd expect for a um, for one of the launch cars or launch for one of the show cars, show versions of the cars. Not too sure about the blue on the underside of the dash, but black on the top of the dash and a lot of matte carbon fiber. So yeah, pretty cool spec and I really like the, the pull handles on the carbon fiber race seats that they're in blue as well to map along with the center sections of the seat. Coming around to the back, we've got the display panel on the 296. You can see the plenum covers, they're not actually the plenums, but the plenum covers, and these are actually, the, you can see here the exhaust, this is actually the exhaust, the covers over the top. The plenum chambers and the rocker covers are actually a lot lower in, in, the, in the 296 because the engine is sat very, very low. This is of course a V6 hybrid. So regular viewers of my channel will know that I'm very much aligned with the Speciali and we've got a beautiful launch spec Speciali here today at Ferrari Owners Day. By the way, those people are wondering why I'm holding the radio, it's because we're here with the Drivers' Union and we're communicating by, by uh, radio, by walkie-talkie radios. So we look at this launch spec, pretty much as you've, as you've already heard me talk about, side fins, carbon fibre, um, not launch spec on the, on the colours of the wheels actually, but especially how the wheels matte black. 
coming around to the back obviously you've got the center stripe the blue center stripe going down across on top of the rosso corsa paintwork carbon fiber standard um, on the on the plenum chambers but you've also got carbon fiber on the right and left hand side engine bay panels as well so that was an extra on, on the on the oem options you've got the carbon fiber rear diffuser as well which is pretty cool um cool number plate as well i think we've seen this speciality before come around to the side of the car looking at the interior they're actually using a, a, a they're actually using a seat cover on the driver's seat so presumably because they want to protect the seats um, you've got the center sections of the seats in red and Alcantara on the side of the seats as well so the main seats are in Alcantara with the center sections in this more durable um, fabric Alcantara across the dashboard which is quite standard on these although you can get leather we have seen a speciality in leather it doesn't look anywhere near as good as when it's in Alcantara a lot of people have heard me talk about the speciality and my keenness on the speciality you know this is this car is the the advancement of the 458 is the last the very last of the naturally aspirated v8 middle end mid-engine ferraris this is a very special car and this is why i'm very keen to move into speciality if at all possible and upgrade from my 458 spider this is the last derivative of the special mid-engine supercars make no mistake about that this is a very special car and conceivably this could be a one and done too if i manage to get hold of one of these specialities and this could be a one and done for me and this could be the end game with regards to um, the, the garage supercar so the weather's taken an awful turn here it's been raining most of the day we've managed to catch it in between showers going to try and cover off a few more cars now so here we've got the f50 obviously this is the the successor to the f40 which is actually part of that. and the, the predecessor sorry the, the predecessor to the f50 is the f40 the successor to the f50 of course was going to be called the f60 but it's actually the enzo because they wanted to name it to commemorate um enzo ferrari so they uh they named it the enzo instead of the f60 but it was going to be called the f60 so the F50 is actually derived and built upon an F1 racing engine. So it's actually got an F1 racing engine inside and it's very harsh on its suspension. It's got a very harsh racing suspension on it. I mean, pretty much the, the F50 was designed around an F1 racing car, whereas the F40 pretty much was a, a racing car for the road. Kudos to the owners of these two cars, of the F50 and the F40, for leaving them parked here in the rain at, uh, at, the, um, at, the, at the Ferrari owner's day great kudos to them this is five million pounds worth of cars so um, it's great that they actually are leaving them here I guess when you've got that sort of money that you can buy these spend on these sort of cars then you're not too worried maybe I don't know but it's really good that they've left them here and not driven them away whereas a lot of owners have already left um, because this rain is really killing the day for Ferrari owners day but it is what it is so just walking along the classic area here where a lot of the classic cars are parked and some of the modern classics as well to the right we've got a 246 GT known as the Dino also to the left we've got a 488 piece of the Spider in a very special calescent white with blue carbon fibre to the left we've got a 488 coupe piece de piece de coupe to the right we've got an SF90 with a Furiano pack Furiano colouring there and livery to the right we've got a 355 GTB to the left we've got an F430 to the left we've got a 308 GTS to the right we've got a 246 GT Dino. To the left we've got a very special car here, a 599 GTO. Very limited in numbers, 499 only were made of this. And this has got the yellow livery with a black with a black um, with a black stripe all the way down through the centre of the body. To the left here we've got an 812 GTS in TDF blue. This is a beautiful colour for this car. Very special car here. This is a 458 Speciali Aperta. Black, metallic black, with the, with the nart stripe, black nart stripe down the centre, a white pinstripe in either side of the nart stripe, um, and the grey accents, the grey accents to the nart stripe. Pretty much black or black on black, apart from the grey on the on the nart stripe, really. Beautiful, beautiful specification. This car actually had its roof open when it was raining quite a bit, so and it's actually got an Alcantara interior, so you know, you've got to be very careful with that, of course, because Alcantara can stain quite a bit. So thankfully the weather's now cleared up, the Sewell Aerodrome. Unfortunately, because there's been terrible rains earlier on, or been, been really bad weather, most of the people have left now, but we've got the music on, the sun's come out a bit, it's almost sunglasses weather, and the event is still carrying on, so um, it's great that people have stayed on, and not everybody has left, but it's definitely not been as good a turnout as it was last year when we had great weather. So we're going to close out from the Ferrari Owners Day here at Sewell Aerodrome. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and we'll catch you in the next video.